Liverpool are Carabao Cup champions, uh, Chelsea fans. Where does the problem lie? Is it with Maurizio Pochettino or is it deeper than that? I don't think it's deeper than that. I think it comes down to the players and I think you look at the balance of the game today. I don't think Liverpool deserve to win the game. So from that perspective, I think you're looking at wasted chances. And that's not like that's not me having a massive go at the players. I love a lot of the players. I love a lot of what they're doing. I think we had the better of a majority of the game. I think extra time. I just said it to my mate. I think extra time showed the difference between having a player like Van Dijk in your team. I think he really lifted everyone. He controlled everyone, what they were doing. They had lots of young players on the pitch and we'll get rinsed for that, I understand. But that's the difference. Like we, we didn't do anything that we were doing really well in the second half in extra time at all. It comes away, he comes up with a winner. Do I think he's the Chelsea manager? Probably not. I don't want to say anything bad like towards him because he's a great manager, accomplished a lot of things. But in terms of like a Chelsea manager, I don't think he's that, personally. I think I think we need a different manager. I think we need look, he's done a lot of things in terms of like we, we've got a lot of things that we need to like make right. Like in terms of the last season or two, there's a lot of things that we need to make right, but I think we need to I think we need to keep on going. Look, we lost today. I think we was all over the Liverpool side. I think we deserve to win, but obviously being biased as a Chelsea fan, I think that's right. But in terms of uh, manager, I think personally, yeah, I think we need a new manager. I know, I know it's easy for a Chelsea fan to sit there and go, oh, we need a new manager when things get bad. I think he's a great manager. I think he's done a lot of things for a lot of teams. But in terms of a Chelsea manager, I think we need a new one. Who is it going to be, though? Yeah, yeah. We should have never got rid of Tuchel. We should have never got rid of him. He's a great manager. He's done a lot of things for us. I think he, we got rid of him when Chelsea was not performing, but we could have done a lot better at the time, but we wasn't performing as bad as what we are now. What is the future of Maurizio Pochettino looking like at the club? No good, no good. He's, a to he's, a, he's, a, he's Tottenham. We don't like Tottenham. We don't want him there. No one wants him there. As simple as that. Get Ancelotti back and done with. That's it. Pay big and get Ancelotti from Real Madrid right now. All day long, mate. All day long, we've got the money. What is the future looking like for Maurizio Pochettino now? Well, I imagine it will still be there because apparently we're under this project. But it's just a classic another final again where it's like you're watching Tottenham foul again because we've got a to Tottenham manager. That's what I feel like when we signed him straight away. He said to my friends, no, he's, he's the Tottenham manager. And... That, that was a Liverpool B team. Like, we played well first half, but we never seemed to get going right from the start. It's literally the first 10 minutes of the first half, the first 10 minutes of the second half, and then the whole of extra time. We never look like we're starting. We take 20 minutes to get into a game. And by then, extra time, that was the time to get him. They brought on, like, five 15-year-olds. Where's the chance to be then, like, really be, like, panic and be like, oh, my God. And we decided to go sit back and let him have the ball for a bit and let him get comfortable with the game. Like, fire him up a bit, Poch. And that's what it looks like with Tottenham. It looks like he can't seem to get his players in you know, a cup final mode. Like, every game should be a cup final. But it doesn't seem like he does that. Do you stick or bust right now? If, say, for instance, you're Todd Bowie in the morning, do you let him have it until the rest of the season? I know coming into this, three games unbeaten, but it's always one way or the other with Chelsea. Do you get rid of him in the summer and try for someone else? I probably wouldn't get rid of him now because I just feel like there's not enough good managers out there. But, yeah, for the future, I don't, I don't feel like he's got that winning mentality in those players. It's too many players that, oh, if you play quite well today rather than no you win today yeah. so yeah you mentioned the four five reserve players there for Liverpool as well they're a bit of embarrassment there because obviously I know Chelsea's squad is quite young but you should be able to get the job done over players that are rarely getting minutes or are coming in in the 90th minute in the odd league game or the cup game yeah a little bit like yeah it's just a bit embarrassing like, I couldn't even tell you what those players names are that came on because I've generally never heard of him. So it is a bit like, like we've got players like, like Mudrick that come on. He looks lost. Literally, the guy's got speed. Knock it and run, but instead he tries to come inside and try and take on three players. If you've only got one thing, which is speed, knock the ball into space and run into it. 
you know, place your advantages. Don't try and think, yeah, I can cut inside and try and skin three players in the middle and then play, like, get through that. And surely it's a manager not telling him that. Just knock and run Madrid when he comes on. Because there was space there as well. He's going to beat Gomez for the pace. But has he not told him that or... I don't know. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.